apologies in advance for the horrid whistling sound that you're gonna have to listen to the entire time because I live in apartments and when they were switching out the vent covers um the like screw hole uh kind of just doesn't fit to the to the screw that's holding it in so it creates a horrid whistling sound like a like a teapot but um if you can get past that I hope you enjoy the video um, combo testing right Right. So we got Hell Scythe, uh, 560 Orb, 560 Orb, yeah. Versus Viper Tail, 360 uh, Point, I believe. Let's just uh, there's Hell Scythe, and there's Viper Tail. Uh, we're going to four. We're going to four, by Hellside's been right, and that's my hotel. Oh, okay, Viper Tail has now stabilized Hellside. And can we get him a win? Yep. Well, there it is. Viper Tail wins. 4 to 1. At this point, I should probably like take a second and like analyze what made that combo beat over Hellscythe. So because we're looking at we're looking at these two right here. Right. Um every time it beat Hellscythe, it was either tipped over or it was knocked out. Right. So as you see it's using a ball tip. I know it's not called ball, it's called orb, but the orb is a ball tip. So when it gets tipped over, it's not really too good at bringing itself back up. It's better than like a needle tip or something like that. But it's not like a flat, well I guess if you can call this a flat really, but it's not like a, it's not like a flat where it uses that tilt to gain itself some power, attach to the streamline and use that to self-correct, right? Um. And I think also since the ratchet is just like lower, it's it's scraped more. And then I don't think just the hell scythe shape was really aggressive enough to do those those counters that it needed to do. Now let's viper tail. Everything that all the, all the problems with this were solved by this, right? This has an aggressive shape. Like obviously you look at it from the top, and that's not very aggressive. But you look at that side profile. It's hitting with that. And it's hitting with that. There are basically a bunch of gaps in it that cause it to, to throw around the other bays. And then 360, not not the, the biggest ratchet, right? So it's not gonna scrape as much. But when it does tilt, that's when it goes from making contact with let me see, can I can we focus on that please? Okay, we can't. But um you see how there's that, that ball tip in there? It goes from standing on that to when it tilts, going to contact as a flat tip. Um, and that, that just causes it to be more, more aggressive, right? So, in the end, the reason that Viper Tail was able to win against this Hellside combo, which I would say is a pretty good combo, was because self-correction was easier and it was more aggressive. That's it. That's all that it was. That's all it was. And I was launching them generally the same way, kind of with a slight tilt and just like kind of towards the middle of the stadium. So, yep. If you got any combos you want to recommend? Um, tell me. I, I'll do any of them. But I don't have any UX bays, unfortunately. 
So do, do with that what you wish. Do with that what you wish.